All right, guys. So I um, run across some problems here. Uh, what's happening is uh, with the power problem that this Nomad has, I can't run it at its normal voltage. So anything above about ten volts, and the Nomad, uh, the Nomad's power problem shows up again. But this screen needs. 12 volts to run so if I'm running the Nomad off a battery pack which is putting out around about 8 volts the screen isn't kicking in but if I run it off the AC adapter which puts out uh, 12 volts the screen kicks on but then the power problem with the Nomad surfaces again so the screen is working uh, I'll just show you that now but again, the Nomad power problem is uh, preventing it from, from working properly. So if you'll see the initial BIOS screen here. And then uh, basically the screen starts to mess up. Don't know if you can see that there. Yep, there it is. So uh, my plan of attack here is A. Fix the power problem with this which uh, to do that I'll have to wait for the capacitor to arrive and even at that I'm not sure if that's going to fix it. Another option I have is I have this uh, little com excuse me I have this little component here uh, which I bought for another mod that I'm planning on doing and what this is is a step up step down converter uh, so basically I can uh, put 3 volts into this and it's adjustable with the little screw on the top here so I can put 3 volts in and I can tune it up and it will output 12 volts so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to run the Nomad off the battery pack, which is 8 volts. I'm going to have the 8 volts feeding into this, and 12 volts feeding out to the screen. And hopefully that should sort out my problem, because the Nomad will be running at 8 volt and not have any uh, power issues. And this will be putting out 12 volts which is enough to run the screen. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, excuse my Frankenstein setup here. Uh, yeah, just uh, I've just roughly wired it all up here to make sure everything's working and wired up correctly. So uh, yeah, bit of a bit of a rigmarole this, just uh, testing it all out here. So we'll have uh, voltage coming from power switch which comes along this green wire and goes down into my little voltage regulator. I have an earth here which also runs down into the voltage regulator. We have uh, our positive coming out of the voltage regulator which is going to uh, the video screen and we have an earth which is coming out and going to the video screen. So uh, this battery pack is putting out 8 volts which allows the Nomad to run without any power problems. Uh, goes in, the 8 volts goes into this little uh, converter here and comes out as 12 volts which is feeding the screen and it's working perfectly. <clears throat> I don't have any uh, sound wired up here at the minute. But uh, as you can see there's no uh, no screen issues at all. So yep, pretty damn cool. Uh, one thing about this, if I do put it all together like this, 
means this Nomad is only ever going to be able to run off batteries which isn't ideal because even with the new modern screen on it these things eat batteries at a, quite a rate this uh, little screen's a 3 watt uh, rating on it which is pretty high power consumption for all the size of it so not ideal by any means um, but uh, it, to be quite honest it doesn't really bother me because I don't really play Mega Drive games for hours on end the majority of Mega Drive games I'll, be, I'll stick it on and I'll play it for 10 minutes, half an hour an hour at the very very most even when I'm playing a proper Mega Drive game on, on the, the, the Mega Drive. <coughs> so I think I'll go ahead um, with this setup for now. Um, when my capacitor arrives, I'm going to go ahead and throw that in and see if it makes any difference to the power problems. Hopefully it will. If not, it's still working. I've still got the new upgraded screen on it. So that'll uh, do it for this episode, guys. A uh, bit of a, a mess about here really, um, didn't all go as smoothly as I was hoping, but really it was the, the power problems that uh, caused me so much grief, uh, basically because I can't run the Nomad and the screen at the same time without having to convert the voltage with this thing. But uh, yeah, it was pretty handy that I had this little item here. Uh, I actually had to order this. I bought it off eBay but it came from China. Uh, it was only like, £3.50 delivered. Uh, which I had planned to use for another mod. But that will come in handy for this mod. So that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you were able to follow what the hell is going on here. Because uh, to be quite honest I'm struggling myself. But uh, as, yep, as you can see uh, the screen's working perfectly here. Uh, the nomads running away there happy as Larry so we'll follow up in the next episode uh, how we get on and uh, hopefully we'll get this thing back together again and get the screen in and we'll be good to go so thanks for watching as always and I'll catch you next time bye for now